Today, I'm going to show you how I dealt 721 million damage in Pokemon. And also, this video is sponsored by Manscaped, but we'll get into that later. Alright, the first thing we have to do is catch a Shuckle in Pokemon Emerald. I know, it sounds weird, but trust me, this Shuckle right here is going to give birth to the god of all Pokemon. And in Pokemon Emerald, the only place where you can catch a Shuckle is in the Safari Zone in a rock that's smashable by Rock Smash. So that's what I did. I went and smashed a rock and I caught a, a Shuckle. Now with this new Shuckle, I need to breed it with a Ditto on Route 117 and hatch a Shuckle with perfect defense. And when I say perfect defense, it needs to have 31 IVs in its defense stat. And let me tell you, breeding in Generation 3 is horrible. It, it takes incredibly long just to get the Pokemon you want. With this Shuckle on 5 times speed, it took me about an hour just to hatch one Shuckle that had flawless defense. But after this old dude told me that this Shuckle had perfect IVs in its defense stat, I was like, yes, finally, the, the god is, is here. Our savior has awoken. But funny enough, the next Shuckle also had perfect defense, so I got two of them, but the other one just was kind of just left behind. Alright, now that we have the god of all Pokemon in our bag, we have to teach him the two godly moves that he needs to know. And this is the main reason why we have to do this in Generation 3, because only in Generation 3, Shuckle can learn Mimic and Defense Curl. So I went to the Battle Frontier and had this old lady teach a Shuckle Defense Curl, and then I went to Laverse Town and had this kid teach Shuckle Mimic. And then lastly, I went to Slayport City and, and named Shuckle God, because that's just a great name name for, for this little dude. And then we're done with Pokemon Emerald, so I, I transferred him to Pokemon Oras because that's where he's going to do the 721 million damage. Because Generation 6 is the only generation where this is possible. So the first thing I did once I transferred him is I leveled him up to 100 and taught him Power Trick. Because for those who don't know, Power Trick swaps your defense stat with your attack stat. Hence why we needed a perfect defense Shuckle, is he's going to have the best attack possible. And then I gave it the item Metronome, because Metronome makes moves like Rollout and Ice Ball do more turns consecutively. And trust me, this will make sense down the road. Alright, now that's level 100 with perfect IVs in its defense stat, we also need to give it perfect EVs in its defense stat. So, I'm pretty sure I gave it Poker Rust, and I went to Route 111 and EV trained it with my Lugia. And the fastest way to do this was to sweet send it up and get a horde of sand shrews and just keep botting them until he got max EVs in his defense stat. And then boom, there we go. We have a maxed out IV and EV defense statted Shuckle. And lastly, I changed Shuckle's ability with the ability capsule to Gluttony so that the battle can run a lot more smooth. I don't want my opponent having Sturdy on their Pokemon, so it'll, just, it'll, it'll make sense later on when I start swapping and abilities and such. And with that, this Shuckle is ready to go, and now we go into phase 2 on how to do the most damage. Alright, so the next thing I did is went to Pokemon X and Y and I caught 5 Smeargles, because Smeargles are super good for just knowing moves. And to set up the Shuckle, it takes about 10 turns of doing moves. So yeah, the Smeargles are going to be very helpful. And just to name off the moves that I needed, I needed B first, Ice Ball, Screech, Swagger, Follow Me, Forest Curse, Skill Swap, Fall Swipe, and Splash. And also an attacking move, and I, and I chose Quick Attack, because it's quick. And to get these moves, I got Pokemon like Sfeel, Lucario, Trevenant, and a few others, so that so Smurgles can sketch them off them and, and just use them in the battle, to make it very efficient. Alright, so with the Smurgles done, I needed a Kecleon with his hidden ability. And so, I went to Route 118 and searched for hordes of Kecleon, but this was a terrible idea because the chance of finding a horde of Kecleon is only 5%. And after like 2 hours, I only found a couple of them and none of the Kecleon had the protein ability. So I started googling to see if there was any other Kecleon out there that I could get for free that had the hidden ability, and it turns out there's actually a hidden Kecleon at the space station where you can just simply soft reset. And luckily, on my very first go, I got the Kecleon with the hidden ability, so I just wasted like 2 hours of my life doing horde battles when I could have done this. And I was just so happy that I just chunked a Master Ball at this Kecleon. But as it turns out, none of this really mattered because I needed a lower level Kecleon for the battle, so I did other stuff and I got a level 5 Kecleon and I taught it Fling and gave it a Lumberry. And you'll see why I did this later on, and it's really cool, you'll, you'll love it. Alright, the next step was to catch two Cherums, and I, I tried finding one in Pokemon Auras, but I, I couldn't find the Mirage spot that they only spawn in. I flew around on Latios for like 
20 minutes and the Mirage spot just never appeared. So I went back to black and white, went to Route 12, and I caught two of them. And once I transferred them back, I taught them Helping Hand and Sunny Day. And these two moves paired with their ability Flower Gift are going to be vital for Shuckle doing the most damage. And then finally, the last thing I needed to do for all the setup Pokemon was catch a Metatite and give it the move Sunny Day. I know it's random, but it will make sense later on. I also gave it a Heat Rock so that the Sunny Day will last longer, but yeah, it, it's very random, but it will make sense later. And now we're into phase three of our mission. All right, now we need to get our sacrificial lamb for Shuckle doing the most damage ever. So first off, I went to Pokemon X and Y and went to Terminus Cave and caught myself a Noibat. And the reason why we're choosing a Noibat is because Noibat is the lowest statted Pokemon that is the most weak to ice type moves, since it's a flying dragon type Pokemon. And then after that, I started breeding it for a Noibat with a defense lowering nature and a defense stat with zero IVs. And in Pokemon X and Y, you can actually go to Kalud City in the Pokemon Center where a guy will tell you about your IVs on your Pokemon. And after about 30 minutes of breeding, he finally saw a Noibat that had the worst defense stat that you could get. But he doesn't actually say the exact amount, so I put this Noibat in PK Hex and it actually had zero IVs in defense. So this was quite literally a top percent bad defensive Noibat. And then finally, after we bred the perfect Noibat, I gave it a Focus Sash because it needs to live at least one move because of the way I mapped out the setup. And yo, mapping out this setup was a task. It, it took me like two to three hours just to figure it out. But in the end, I came up with a 10 turn setup to do the most damage ever in any Pokemon game ever. So now that we have everything that we need, it's time to do the battle. So get ready. And I'm going to do the battle in live commentary. So yeah, let's do this. But before we get into the battle, I just want to let you guys know that this video is sponsored by Manscaped and I want to tell you all a little bit about it. Now, fellas, we all have Pokeballs, right? We, we have two of them. And sometimes they get kind of messy and we need to clean them up with some, some trimming. But your conventional razors and trimmers can be pretty rough and can cause some scratches on your shining Pokeballs down there. Like as Ferd right here, he cleaned up his Pokeballs last week and, and he's still pretty uncomfortable about all the scratches he did to them. But luckily, Manscaped has you covered because they have advanced skin safe technology that will reduce the nicks and cuts on the most sensitive areas of, of your body. You hear that Ferret? With Manscaped, your Pokeballs will no longer be scratched and nicked every time you want to groom them. And with their new performance package, it's not just your Pokeballs, but it's literally your entire body from head to toe. With tools like the Lawn Mower 4.0, the Crop Preserver, the, the Crop Reviver, the Weed Whacker Nose Plus Ear Hair Trimmer, like look at that one. And even the Shears 2.0, with, with all these tools, you can literally clean your nails, your, your ears, your, your Pokeballs, and even your face, of course. So get yourself an early Christmas gift with the new performance package Package by Manscaped and get 20% off with the code DOBS. And for a limited time, if you order fast enough, you can get two free gifts, the Shed Travel Bag and the Manscaped anti chaffing Boxer Briefs. So treat yourself or, or get your friend this for, for Christmas or something. I'm sure your friends out there would love this. So yeah, use promo code DOBS to get 20% off and click the link down below in the description. And humongous shout out to Manscaped for sponsoring this video. I really appreciate it. So yeah, with that said, let's get right into the battle. All right, here we go. The most damage ever done in Pokemon ever. So, the opponent's gonna lead out with a Kecleon Noibat and a Smurgle, while I'll lead out with two Smurgles and a Shuckle. So, all right, so our Shuckle's gonna lead off with a Defense Curl so that its Ice Ball coming up will have a boost in its attack. Then we're gonna screech up our Noibat to lower its defense all the way down. So it's like a pathetic defense on top of the pathetic defense. And on top of that, we're gonna skill swap with the Kecleon to get the protein ability to bring it over to our Shuckle so that it gets a stab with the Ice Ball coming up. And then now, we're gonna start swaggering our Shuckle so that it gets its attack stat boosted to plus six eventually. And the uh, confusion here doesn't really matter because we're gonna do that, that fling Lumberry strat we were talking about early in the video. All right, so we're gonna continue on doing Screech on our Noibat to make its def pathetic defense even more pathetic. Meanwhile, we're going to Defense Curl our Shuckle once again, just to stall out as well. Everyone's just stalling. So yep, just keep increasing that attack set with the uh, Swagger. Um, so now I'm going to do a Skill Swap on Shuckle now. So now Shuckle has Kecleon's Protein ability, so that you can get a stab with the Ice Ball coming up. So Noibat's uh, stats are just getting lowered still. Um, let's go to get the minus six defense. And 
Shuckle's still confused. The god is confused. He hit himself in confusion. Alright. So, this is very important. Our Smurgle is going to do Splash Attack, okay? The Splash Attack is very vital. Nah, I'm just kidding. So we're going to Forest Curse the Noibat so it gains a Grass Typing. So now it's like, like, eight times weak to ice. Alright, now now the Kekulon is going to pull a Judas and betray his team and, and fling over his Lumberry to, to help out curing the Chuckles' confusion. Then we're just going to kill off that Kekulon because it's not needed anymore, any longer. All right, goodbye, Kecleon. You did your job. Good, good job. All right, now Shuckle is gonna do Power Trick and swap its massive defense into its attack stat. So now it has an insanely high attack stat. All right, so the opponent's gonna do me first. That's gonna be very important later on. It's a very, it's, a, it's an interesting move that has a cool effect to it. But I don't want to get ahead of myself here. And now everyone else is gonna stall out. We're gonna fall swipe it up with our uh, with our Smurgle. Let's snore annoy that. And then the opponent's gonna bring out a Metatite. This Metatite has pure power on it, so it's gonna be very handy to raise Shuckle's attack stat. All right, so now Shuckle is gonna mimic the Smurgle's Me First. Yes, now he knows Me First. Basically what Me First does is increase the move by 50% that, that the opponent was gonna do. So it's pretty broken. So now we're just gonna stall out with the same moves again. Smurgle needs a false wipe. There we go. Good job, good doggy. So now our uh, disciple left over here is going to skill swap with Metatite, and we're going to give it to Shuckle after it me first the Smurgle's Ice Ball. Yes. Okay. Check this out. Everything stalled out. All right. Me first on the Smurgle. That Smurgle's going to do Ice Ball. So now this Shuckle here is going to do Ice Ball and get a protein ability. So now it's an Ice type. So now is Stab. Ice balling the opponents right now. So now it has stab. So now this disciple is going to skill swap the Metatite's ability, pure power, onto the Shuckle because I already got the protein stab. And uh, now its attack has been raised by the pure power ability. Then we're just going to splash with that, that uh, Smurgle over there just to stall out. All right, so now we're going to switch out our Smurgle on the right to bring out our Cherum. And now this chair is going to do a uh, helping hand on Smurgle once we get the sunny day up with our Metatite. But first, we're going to follow me on the opponent's Smurgle so that Shuckle will target it always. Because it's doing Ice Ball, has no target right now. So it's, it would do it randomly throughout every Pokemon. But we're putting follow me on these Smurgles just for that. So that it will target the Smurgle specifically. So he's going to target Ice Ball. Boom, you're done. That Smurgle's out. That is the second Ice Ball. Boom. And then we're going to stall on our, our 721 million Noibat. And we're going to bring out this Smurgle now. So now we're going to swap back our Smurgle to bring out another Cherum. And that Smurgle's going to do Follow Me so that we target that that Smurgle with the Ice Ball. So boom! Third third Ice Ball down. And now it is just the Noibat left. Oh, it looks like we did. We did looks like we did Sunny Day on the on the Cherim here instead of Metatite. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, we. I, okay, I remember now. We we killed the Metatite for it could even do Sunny Day, but it worked worked out in the end. So now our Cherim's Flower Gift abilities are are taking effect, and Flower Gift boosts our allies' damage um, when in the sun. And now the Noibat's just going to stall out again. All right, we're gonna we're gonna helping hand our Shuckle with uh, both our Cherims, and that boosts the attack of Shuckle by 50% this turn. But this is only the fourth ice ball, so we're gonna we're gonna boom on the Noibat here. But uh, it's gonna live with the focus sash. It just took around like 500 million damage, I think, right there, or 400 million, a lot. So this turn right here, helping hand one, helping hand two. We basically just boost this ice ball by 100% with these Cherims. And now, get ready. Exodia, obliterate. 721 million damage done right there. Boom! And of course, we need to hit that critical at the end because it, it wouldn't be the most damage without the critical. So that level 1 Noibat just took the most damage ever possible in Pokemon. Poor Noibat. And if you're curious about the calculations, shout out to Edgar on Quora for doing all of the math and such to make this video even possible. But to give a rundown, Helping Hand raises the base power of the target by 50%. The Metronome boosts the power of Ice Ball by 100% on turn 5. 
Defense Curl doubles the power of Ice Ball. Power Trick swaps the attack and defense of the user, and since Circle has the highest base defense stat of all Pokemon, it is the chosen one for this feat. The ability Protein changes the user to the typing of the move that they're doing and will give them Stab, which is the same type attack bonus, which boosts the power of the move by 150%. The ability Pure Power doubles the user's attack stat. Swagger gives the target plus 2 attack each time with a maximum of times 6. Me First copies the target's attack and increases its power by 50%. The ability Flower Gift in Sunlight increases the attack and special defense of all ally Pokemon by 50%. Reducing Noibat's defense by 6 times deals 4 times more damage. And like I said before, Noibat has the lowest defense stat of all Dragon Flying Pokemon, making it extremely weak to Ice type attacks. And on top of that, the Forest Curse gives it a Grass typing, which makes it 8 times weak to Ice. And with all of these calculations, it adds up to 721,898,981 damage. And here's all the math done with credit to Edgar on Korra. So yeah, if you ever wonder what it takes to do the most damage ever in Pokemon, well, it, it takes that. You gotta start in Pokemon Emerald and end it off in Pokemon Oras in a triple battle. And who knew Shuckle right here would be the god of all Pokemon? I hope you guys enjoyed this. Oh hey, before you go, if you thought Shuckle here was hilariously overpowered, you should check out my top 10 hilariously overpowered Pokemon video. It's one of my most viewed videos of all time, so I, I guess it's kinda good. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell.